Hello everyone, this is Ehsan Ashfaq and I am here with part 2 of Introduction to Genetic Algorithm. Uh, we have basically introduced all the preliminaries and the basics of genetic algorithm in the previous lecture. And today we are going to discuss that how actually genetic algorithm applies different operators and uh, what mechanism is used in a genetic algorithm in order to find out the solution in the solution space. So uh, let's start without wasting any time. Okay, so as we discussed in the previous lecture that genetic algorithm searches for optimal solution in the solution space. We know that solution space is actually a set of all the possible solution and uh, genetic algorithm actually starts with a random population of solution and then it goes forward and uh, in different iterations and in each iteration new solutions are reproduced from existing solutions that is reproduction is done on the basis of the existing solution in order to get the optimal solution so how it is done today we are going to actually discuss that how reproduction is done how in every generation the current solutions are used to reproduce which solutions are selected for the reproduction and how the reproduction is actually done so this is basically the thing which we are going to cover in this lecture okay so genetic algorithm reproduction reproduction in genetic algorithm is done by applying the ga sophisticated operators we mentioned the sophisticated operators in the previous lecture as well and uh, i told you that we are going to discuss them in detail in the upcoming lecture and the three sophisticated operators applied by ga in order to explore the solution space to get the optimal solution in every generation are selection crossover and mutation so we are going to discuss them one by one okay the first one is the selection now what is selection remember i just mentioned in the previous slide as well that genetic algorithm starts with a randomly selected population of solution which may not be optimal because it, they are selected randomly so at the end of each generation among the multiple solutions available the best or the fitter solutions are selected for a reproduction how a solution is classified as a fitter or not fit solution it depends upon the objective function or the fitness function which actually calculates the fitness of a solution <clears throat> so at the end of every generation we select the a number of fitter individuals for applying reproduction and how reproduction is performed after the selection firstly we perform the crossover now what is crossover i briefly discussed in the previous lecture as well for crossover we select more than one parent and then one or more offsprings are used are produced using the genetic material of the parent there are different types of crossover techniques but we will discuss them later for simplicity right now we are only mentioning one technique and that is one point crossover you can see in the diagram at the end of the slides on the left hand side we have two parents and we have selected one point that is the, mm, the midpoint in this case and we swap the tails of these parent chromosome now what are these parents they are actually two different uh, set of solutions okay the first chromosome actually says that set of solution is from 0 to 9 which you can see and the second chromosome says that it represents a different set of solutions so what we do we actually perform the crossover one point crossover by selecting one point in both the chromosome strings and then swapping their tail so we can see on the right hand side of the diagram the two children are produced by their from their parents by applying one point crossover okay after applying the crossover now we have actually new solutions new set of solutions and now this solution after going through the crossover it will go through the mutation now mutation is the part as written here 
that it's the part of the genetic algorithm which is related to the exploration of the cell space if there was no mutation we will actually stuck in the local optima and we will never be able to search the solution space the actual uh, search would depend I'm talking about the absence of mutation that in the absence of mutation the search will wholly depend upon the starting randomly initialized population of solution because the uh, children will contain exactly the same genetic material as their parents have and there can be no um, no mutation like no other solution will be possible so in natural genetic mutation happens when children have features that are present in none of the parents as discussed earlier that a child may have some features of one parent and may have some features of the other parent and it may have some features which are actually present in none of the parents so that is actually called mutation now again there can be different techniques for performing mutation but over here we actually simply perform the one bit or the multiple bit mutation by uh, the uh, you can see in the diagram the first one is actually simply it selects a bit and it, it the presentation of the chromosome is in binary form so we randomly select a bit and actually change its uh, the value of the allele that is if this one we make it zero and if it's zero we make one in the second diagram or in the second example you can see this is called swept mutation we select two different locations from the chromosome string and then we swap their value so this is also a type of mutation so mutation through mutation we actually perform the exploration of the search space without mutation we would never be able to try or to test or to find out any other solution other than what are actually selected start in the start randomly for the initial population okay so we will keep on repeating these steps the selection the um, crossover and the mutation in every generation so then the question arises when to stop what is the termination condition or what is the point to terminate the genetic algorithm so usually we keep one of the following termination condition the most uh, frequently used termination condition is when the, when there is no improvement in objective function if we keep on getting the same value of the objective function with uh, uh, different solution we usually stop there and the set of solution at that point is considered our optimal solution or secondly we may set a number of generations and when the number of generations are uh, completed or perform we actually stop the genetic algorithm and the third possibility is that we have defined or we have predefined a value of the objective function and when then fair, uh, value of the objective function is achieved we actually stop the genetic algorithm so let's have a look at the overall flowchart of the genetic algorithm uh, we initially start and randomly generate initial population then we evaluate all individuals by evaluating we means we find or we calculate the fitness of these individual if the fitness meet our stopping criteria we stop there and consider the current solution as the best or the optimal solution and if the uh, termination criteria is not met what we do we perform reproduction by actually performing the selection the crossover and the mutation these three are the actually genetic algorithm opera operators and then a new production is produced or a new population is produced and again we evaluate the results and check their fitness and the process continues until we meet our termination uh, condition so hope it was helpful if you have any question you can write me in the comments i'll try my best to answer them and in the next part we will actually have a running example of genetic algorithm to to give you more understanding thank you very much please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel take care